Welcome to Behind the Bar, Paul Star brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diets Championship and an exhibition last week in Tokyo. I caught up with Scotty Dog Scott Mitchell to find out what's been happening in the world of diets to the former BDO World Champion. Scott Mitchell, freshly back from the, the Dutch Open. Good tournament, made the semi-finals. Uh, enjoyable experience? Yeah, yeah, made the semi-finals, won the, the pairs as well with uh, James Hurrell. So uh, that takes me, it's the third time I've won it. So it takes me into that elusive category with Coast Stompy and uh, Raymond Van Barneveld. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Winning, it's a, it's a grueling schedule over there, isn't it? And it certainly takes some winning. And I, I, you played, the, the, well, I would say he will be the great Justin van der Gaal. Uh, you know, he, that must have been tough on his own patch. Last 16, you know, poor old Danny had gone out. And uh, yeah, we were we were on one of the show lanes with, with 300 people behind. Absolutely. Every time he hit a ton, they were lifting the roof off the place. It was the most amazing game to play in. Luckily enough, like I say, I came out on the right side of it. But um Wow, what a talent that kid is. Yeah, he, he's a superstar. We've seen him at, at Pontins last year in it, 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 the JDC event, you know, the European Championship. And he, what, he just he checks out a 147 with no nerves. And we were speaking earlier on, no nerves. That's the thing with these youngsters. No, no. I mean, if they leave themselves 130 or 147 and they've hit it at home this week, you know, I mean, they think, oh, yeah, I can just do that. And they just pop up and do it. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's very refreshing to see kids that just aren't frightened to play. Yeah, brilliant. And, and of course, uh, a few weeks ago because we had the world championship second round uh good divorce he i think you were speaking before you said he, he owed you one didn't he yeah Gert owed me one it's been about five years since he beat me so uh um yeah i i, I didn't realize that until somebody told me perhaps if they hadn't told me i might have got him but um no it's it's you know that's a long time to wait in it so i don't begrudge Gert beating me not at all no and great that you you actually like a lot of the place you stay there don't you you stay there and you cheer on you cheer on the, the, the other games you they go over to the bar and there's scott mitchell in the background that's great it's not like hey checking the, the toys out of pram i'm going to start support the other players uh, i've been there as a fan five or six times and bought tickets before i was ever near it as a dart player so um yeah i understand how it feels from a fan side of things so it's always nice to to be able to go back out there and have a sit down and you know, it's lovely, lovely for two hours. You just lose two hours just, just like that. You know, it's, it's magic to give it back to the fans because without them, we're nothing, are we? Very true. And talking of fans, of course, we're here down in Torquay this evening for an exhibition. You and, of course, the great Bobby George. And, hey, can we, hey, Nathan Fleming, Nathan, would you mind coming over here? This is an event organiser this evening uh, down here in Torquay. Nathan, welcome on to uh, Behind the Bar on location. Uh, you, your second exhibition you've you've organised... Uh, Hey, you're a lover of darts, and that that's, that, that helps, doesn't it, when you put these events together? Yeah, it really does. I mean, um, we're trying to make Torquay and Torbay in, in, in general a better, bigger at darts. I mean, not many people have organised events like this down here, and with the first one, it went rather successfully. And this time, having the legend Bobby George and the gentleman Scott Mitchell, you know, we've got a legend, two times news of the world champ, a champion, and a former world champion. What more? What more do you want? You know, there's nothing else you can ask for. And you also get the the, the, the academies uh, in, involved as well, which, of course, uh, I'm sure Scott would agree, is so important. We sent mention about the youth players, so important to the future of world diets. Yeah, well, that, that's where your talent lies. It lies with the uh, painting well uh, painting youth academy brian does a fantastic job over there he's got his mentors that he uses there's um, a couple of the boys and girls over there that you know are going to be on the circuit one day as long as they can hold it together themselves there's joe there's charlie uh, there's kelly i think one of the girls you go over there and you watch them and it's frightening to watch them and i'm thinking Oh God, they can beat me. Yeah. You know, they can beat anyone because they're not scared. Yeah. They're not scared. I, I, I think most people can beat you, Nathan. But well, I want um, Scott. It's, it's <laughs> about the, the future of darts. It's, it is great, and it, it work that Steve Brown does for the Junior Darts Corporation. And I know on your travels, you must see some exciting young players. You know, on 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 the toy note. Like I say, no fear in the fact that darts is fashionable now, isn't it? It is. It's the more that it come, becomes on TV, it's more one of those sports that's easily viewable, isn't it? And, and I think the kids are taking to that. And it's not a bad thing, you know, for kids to play darts. I think their parents will encourage them because obviously the counting and things helps them at school no end. And I think that's, that's, you know, it's a really good thing that all these academies are springing up all over the place. Um, not good for me because obviously it makes my longevity shorter. <laughs> but um, I keep saying to the kids, you can get good in about five years, I'll be done. That'll be good. But um, no, it's, it's really important because otherwise if we haven't got the lower end of the game, sort of like the new kids coming in, where does the game go you know it's all right for the guys like me we're here now and we're current but it's not about now we're trying to set something for the future and these guys that are doing these academies it's just amazing really 
Yeah, brilliant. They said they're here from Paynton. Later, and of course, uh, help for you, obviously, put in on these events. You have uh, sponsors as well. And uh, if you want to mention any sponsors uh, this evening, it's very important, obviously, to put these events on because, you know, it, it, take, it takes some doing. Well, yeah, it does. I mean, it, it, it's difficult. People don't realise what goes into organising something like this. You, the panic. You're making sure that everyone arrives, yeah. you know, and things. I mean, we've got a couple of... Uh, Devon County players uh, playing Scott tonight and uh, we've got uh, Phil Goodwin who um, is averaging 30 a dart I mean that's fantastic I mean and he's luckily enough he's just been sponsored by a local builders merchants Interline and he's got he was managed to go to the Romania Open he's going to the Lith Lithuania Open um, Matt Dickinson another one very good talent um, is played at the Romania is going to Lithuania as well they're both going to the Isle of Man it's it's time you know these boys are showing that Torquay, Paint, and, and Brixham have got players that can make it on the big circuit, and they and they're going to go for it, and then they're they're not scared. That's it. They're not scared, and of course, gives the opportunity to come along and play legends like the great Scotty Dog Scott Mitchell. I don't know whether I've got time to do this interview. If I've got to play all these guys, <laughs> they're going to be ripping me head off. I should be practicing somewhere, surely. Yeah, that will be fine. We're looking forward to a cracking evening, Nathan. Thank you very much, and great work you're doing down here in the area, and of course, Scott. Always a pleasure to catch up with you, mate. Hey, pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. Well, great to catch up with Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. Fantastic time we had down there in Torquay with himself and, of course, Bobby, George and Nathan Fleming who's doing fantastic work down there in Torquay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on this week's show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And join us next week on more Behind the Bar. Paul's Time brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diet Championship. We'll see you then. <laughs>